an asura named Tarakasura decided to conquer heaven. If I want to win the throne of Indra, I should ask Brahma for a boon that I should be immortal. So he began to worship Brahma and asked him for this boon. He began his penance in Madhuvana forest. The air was his only food. First he stood in water and then he meditated by standing on only one toe of his foot. Then he stood on his hands and continued the penance. Years went by. His penance was so severe that the ground around him caught fire. The fire began to burn the three worlds. Finally, Brahma appeared before Taraka. My son, I am pleased by your penance. Ask for a boon. Taraka bowed and saluted Brahma. O oh Lord, I am blessed. Grant me a boon that I will never die. You should not ask for the impossible. Anyone born must die. Ask for anything else. Taraka thought for a while. Shiva is now in meditation, so he will not marry. Hmm, that will be the best idea. My lord, Grant me a boon that I should die only at the hands of Shiva's son. Your boon is granted. Thank you, my lord. Brahma disappeared, leaving Taraka immensely happy. Since Brahma had granted him his boon, he started creating havoc in all the three worlds. He conquered Devalo and harassed Indra and the Devas. O oh Lord Indra, we cannot take Taraka's attacks anymore. Let me attack the Devas. Ha ha ha! No one can oppose me. Indra and the Devas ran for their lives. Look at them running for their lives. What a sight to see. Ha 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 ha! Indra and the Devas went to Brahma. O oh Lord, please help us. Indra, be calm. Why are you running like this? We are suffering at the hands of Taraka. Please do something. Hmm. This is because of the boon that I granted him. Don't worry, I will do something about this. I will talk to him. Brahma knew that no one could control or punish him. Yet, he appeared before Taraka. Lord, you have honored me by visiting me. What is your command? Do not harass the Devas. Leave Devalok and return to your place. Oh, did Indra come to you for help? Okay, I will leave Devaloka only because you asked me to. Tanaka left Devalok and returned to his capital. But still, he did not stop his violence. He still continued to harass the gods. Though he has left Devaloka, he continues to harass us. Let's go to Brahma again and ask him to give us a permanent solution. All right, let's go. Indra and the Devas went again to Brahma and complained. Welcome, my sons. Why do you look so sad and gloomy? Taraka, the wicked Asura, has become a menace again. We have to kill him. We are here to ask you to give us a chief who will lead us against him in war and kill him. I am helpless. 
Taraka has become powerful because of a boon I once granted him. But there is one solution. Please tell us. We will do what is necessary to get rid of him. Only a son born to Shiva can destroy Taraka. What you are saying is impossible. Shiva is meditating. Nothing is impossible. I know that Shiva is meditating. But now it is in your hands. Shiva is destined to marry Parvati and the son who will be born to them will be the warlord who will slay Taraka. Thank you, my lord. I will order Rati and Kama, the gods of love, to accomplish this task of making Shiva fall in love with Parvati.